Good morning. You're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kim Parr. I'm in Dallas, Texas at the Total Solutions Plus meeting, and I'm with Bart Bedica, the executive director of the NTCA, the National Towel Contractors Association. Bart, how you doing? I'm doing great, Kemp. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. You're one of the quarterbacks on this show, so let's start with that first. This show is four groups that come together, and it's the ceramic tile industry, and it's your business meeting, and this is the ninth year, right? Yes, that's right. It's the ninth year. It's uh, uh, the National Tile Contractors Association, Ceramic Tile Distributors Association, the Tile Contractors Association of America, which is uh, union signatory contractors, and the Tile Council of North America. It's really a, a great industry event because what we do is over a four-day period, we're able to have our own annual committee meetings, board of directors meetings, annual meetings of our own membership organizations, and then culminate that with a two-day conference, an all-industry conference. It's become what we consider a can't-miss fall event. I kind of hold you guys up, the tile people, as a poster child for how to do it right. I mean, I know you've got alphabet suit, and it's confusing as hell, (laughs) but you guys are moving the needle. You're making a difference, and you seem to be organized, covering all of the different channels, and business is growing. I mean, I think it's maybe a little soft this year, but it's the second fastest growing category behind LVT. And I think it's because of the Y Tile program and some of these initiatives that you guys do that help promote the use of this whole category. Well, we think that we work very closely together. The manufacturers are our partners, and we're we're very very fortunate, and as well as the distributors and and the contracting companies. And we've been able to kind of find a unified message about. Our products are quality products. As you said, the category is done well in compared to competitive products, but they need to be installed properly. We feel that we have a strong message to tell to architects and designers and building professionals, but we also know we have challenges because as technology changes, we have to stay on top of that and find skilled workers to put it in. So this is kind of a place where we bring all of that together. We are very involved in standards development, and that's also done here where we have the meetings and you know, we have the consultants, the manufacturers, the tile installers, all working closely together to develop those standards. Well, just one more mention on this meeting. About 600 people here. You're telling me maybe second best as far as all of the nine years Washington beat out Dallas. You know, one of the things I like to point out is the speakers you have here are top notch. I mean, you had Roger Stallback this morning as your right. keynote speaker. Yeah. There's people coming here, and sometimes the education is an afterthought, but I get the feeling you guys really think through who's here and why they're here. We really do. We, we know that this is not necessarily an, an event to be a trade show. You know, this is a management leadership conference and networking event. And generally, the people that are here are business owners, senior management. We want to be able to to talk about real issues, economic issues, business issues, and, and focus. Uh, this is a place where we're not selling so much as focusing on our respective businesses. It's probably why the fall works so well, Kim. You know, you're finishing your year end and you're looking at your next year programs, and it's kind of a place to gear up and get excited about your strategic planning into next year. So we take the educational component, the the two-day component, very seriously and try to balance business speakers, economic speakers, speakers that can give you some ideas to impact your business right away and have some fun with people like Roger Staubach, too, who was great. All right, so the NTCA. (laughs) Talk a lot about that for a quick second. I think you've reached a milestone, and you've got now 1,500 members, right? Right. We're an organization of uh, flooring and tile contracting or installation companies with distributor and manufacturer associate support. We hit 1,000 members about five years ago. At the time, we thought it represented somewhere around 10 to 15,000 installers because, as you know, it's really hard to get your hand around that because some installation companies subcontract a lot of their labor Mm -hmm. and some have employees. A lot of associations are struggling to maintain their membership base, and we're on a, a strong growth curve. And some people that are members in your organization are also members in other organizations like either Fuse or Starnet, right? Absolutely. You have a lot of crossover with with that. And uh, so we work actually very closely with Starnet and Fuse. And the way we look at that is we have the tile installation expertise side. And so they use us as a resource for training and education content and programs for the people that are in their respective companies that are serious about Mm -hmm. tile. I was just with Starnet, and one of the issues they were talking about, obviously we all know about the labor shortage, but they were all saying the ones that 
do tile installation that they could do twice as much. Yeah, we're if, hearing if, that a lot. If they had quality people that it, could that do, the, do the work. Yeah, there's just not enough quality tile installers out there. That's not a quick fix. You know, we're working really hard as an organization on apprenticeship development, uh, online university programs, you know, tools that we can give to our members that they can use to help train a workforce. But the problem with tile is that it takes probably three years to four years to really be a master tile setter. But you got to start somewhere. But there's also a very significant workforce out there now that we need to start educating because what's happened with us is that technology is changing. With the new products coming in, even quality tile installers that have been out in the field for 20 years are in dire need of training because of the tool investments they need to make and the new products coming in is a little bit different than the way they were trained on the products. You're talking about these larger panels. Right, large format tiles in different thicknesses, multiple patterns on but yeah, almost like the uh, two foot by five foot products and, and even the two foot by three foot products that are thicker, that are cut out of that technology, which are really newly entering the market and are new opportunities, for instance, out on patios and decks and uh, around swimming pools and even in driveways is what we were seeing in Europe. And some of your people are starting to compete with the countertop fabricators as well, right? Yeah, I mean, I do think that that's a niche. I think that the porcelain tile products that you're talking about in the in the large panels in the, uh, three, in the three and five and six millimeter are absolutely a new opportunity for, yeah. for uh, countertops. Tops. All right, one of the initiatives I know you're proud of, you're working on, is you're trying to get an apprenticeship program passed through. Talk about that. Yeah, we're almost finished with the curriculum, which is an online curriculum that is meant to uh, be used by our members and by organizations that can offer that curriculum. And we're working with the Department of Labor to get that approved. It's going to take a while. We think maybe perhaps one to two years before it's fully implemented and before we have it in facilities around the country available. But our goal is to be an apprenticeship provider. I believe other groups like the Wood Flooring Group are looking at exploring the same type thing. But our, our goal is to actually be able to help our members find apprentices. The problem is with the Department of Labor, the approval process, it, it takes a little while. So I don't want to overpromise and underdeliver. deliver uh, We just ran a story recently that you're looking for a new executive director. Well, we're looking for a new executive director of the Ceramic Tile Education Foundation. Oh, okay. And the foundation is a standalone, a separate nonprofit supported by the entire tile industry. They are in, in charge of the certification program, the Certified Tile Installer Program. They're based out of Clemson, South Carolina. We have a great training and education director, Scott Carruthers, uh, who's overseeing the, the training program. But what we're really looking for is someone that has the ability to come in and really make a difference in garnering uh, manufacturer support, distributor support, g- taking this certification where we have about 1,500 certified tile installers. I yeah. know that's the same number as our members, right. but, but right around 1,500 certified tile installers. Well, for us to really make that a viable, effective program that consumers will embrace, it needs to be somewhere around 5,000. So, so, so you're we're hoping, looking for a new leader. And you're hoping to fill the funnel faster, right? We're hoping to fill it faster. It seems like a no-brainer. You can sell twice as much if you have more people to put it in. And more qualified people yeah. to put it in. Uh-huh. Exactly right. Yeah. All right, Bart, it's good to talk to you. Thanks for the update. Again, been talking to Bart Bedica, the executive director for the NTCA at the Total Solutions Plus meeting in Dallas, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloorDaily.net.